Hello everybody. It's cold and wet here. <laughs> I'm exactly four hours and 44 minutes from my destination. Exactly what it told me, 444. Anyhow, uh, reflecting back on uh, everything as I started seeing it unwinding. My football coach offered me that job. You know, it amazes me how they think that they can buy you for money. That because of money, you'll do, you know, that you'll... Now, I have had a lot of people that didn't believe that I turned these jobs down because of the money. They can't imagine that. But the truth, the, the real sad truth is, they can't imagine that I'm telling them the truth. These are the end times. The Lord has put it upon me to see this. He gave me all kinds of signs. That angel blowed that trumpet. These are signs, you guys. Not to be mistaken. I got a lot of scoffers. If you had the real discernment, a lot of people talk about discernment, but if you had the real discernment, you can clearly see who they really are. It's not the person, it's what's in the person. I've always been trying to tell people that this is a spiritual battle going on. been hosting bodies here for a long time. My football coach, Mr. Myers. It's weird how they got these t-shirts out now talking about martyrs. And it's also got his name on the back with games on the back. And I told him games are over. When I told the game were over, you would have heard that voice. I ain't lying, I'm telling you the truth. It was a demonic spirit. And they did not know they were they had little time. I believe the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jesus Christ, they blessed me tell them that they had little time. When I told him the games were over, he immediately said, no. <laughs> that was a demon that was in him. He would hit you with the buckle. And that's 
where I get my clothing from the buckle store. It's called the buckle. Most people can't imagine everything. And I'm telling you, I know what's getting ready to happen. The Lord has showed it to me. I love this stuff. To me, I just spray a little bit of this stuff on man and it's like, Flexion clothing chain. It's what I use to come against the demonic spirits that are here. See, because I'm going to tell you guys something, and Jesus Christ said this in the Bible. All you have to do is believe faith. It's very powerful. It's more powerful than the demonic people's faith. Or more powerful than what they believe. Because greater is he that is in me than what is in this world. So know that when your faith is in him, in Christ above, it's greater than anything. All you have to do is believe. The devil don't want you to know that. But you gotta believe and have faith in Christ by the blood of Christ. They don't want you to know that. It's colder than heck over here, man. <laughs> Everywhere I've been going, it's been cold. I just got back from... Uh, Not in Nogales, it was in uh, Texas. It was down there by the border, Mexico. Uh, it was cold there too. Cold here, it's been cold everywhere I go. But it's alright, I'd rather be a little chilly than uh, hot, anyhow. I don't like heat. The heat's coming though, I promise you that. See, I prefer to have this cool weather because I can sleep better in it. May not be good for the farmers because everything's flooded out over here. All the croplands. But I told y'all that's coming too, so nobody should be surprised. See, my faith is in all that. Everything that I'm speaking and saying, I prophesize you. They know it. They don't like that. See, you'd be surprised the powers that you have when you are truly anointed by the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jesus Christ. He knows the only thing I want is his will. I just wanted to get through this. I could care less about anything here. That's why they couldn't offer me money. They don't have enough. They really don't. Number one, I wouldn't even want to hang out or be associated with them. Because as far as I'm concerned, they turn their backs on the Lord. And I don't like that. Tried to turn my business around so that they'd make it big. I'm sure they could have. But I didn't want nothing to do with them. And that was the wrong thing to say to me. Speak less about Jesus. That was the worst thing they could have told me. They immediately became my enemy. Anybody that's anti-Christ, I do not care to be around them. I can't be around them. Because I'm not going to be silent about it. I've had people tell me they're talking down about Jesus and they're like, man, I'm half your age. I'm a lot bigger. I'm more toned and shape. And you're coming up against me. And I 
that says, you're gonna speak against my Lord? Yeah. I wasn't afraid, and I still ain't, never will be. <laughs> and the Lord knows that, he knows our hearts. It's another thing I wanna tell you. Don't have no fear of nothing, man, nothing. The only thing we should have fear of, and this is a healthy fear, that's the fear of God, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Don't fear nothing else, man, nothing. Not a thing. Now we're getting ready to go home. <coughs> also, I want to tell you something else. Um, getting ready to go home but I also want to tell you guys this now listen carefully he said it'll be like as in the days of Noah okay as in the days of Noah now we look around we see a lot of people you guys got a lot of family you're concerned with but remember this who did Jesus say his true family was that's what you need to remember and do the same thing what Jesus said. There's a reason why he said that. These are things that we need to use as a guide to guide us. We need to follow his example. In other words, our family, our true family, does the will of God. Our father Abraham and Jacob in heaven. Okay? That's our true family does that. Our true family loves him. Okay? Um... Only Noah and his family got on that boat with the animals and the whole world was destroyed, okay? So when you look around, most people aren't going to make it. I just don't want anybody to have any kind of delusion about this. Only five are wise. That's five percent around the whole world, not all of America around the whole world of different tongues and nationalities. Five are wise, and then the foolish are gonna be the martyrs. That's what it says on my t-shirt down below here. Martyrs. They're gonna get their crown a different way. They're gonna to have to come the very hard way. They're gonna to have to realize these things that they thought were a blessing really wasn't a blessing. They're just, items, their materialism, okay? They had their faith in all these things, and they're going to find this out pretty soon. You know, but anyhow, uh, that's five, five very foolish, okay? Now, not all in America, around the whole world. You know, there's going to be a lot of martyrs, okay? Probably... Yeah, you know, he says five wise, five foolish. I'm not gonna try to put a number on it other than what he said. Yeah, you know, that's like trying to guess the day and the hour. We know it's in hand. It's in hand. Let me tell you something. There's a lot of false people out there, you guys, that are uh, saying it. he said this and he said that. Listen, we know the signs of the times. We know this is at hand too. And I can promise you, my dreams, they're all true. And they tell you everything that you need to know. And uh, it's at hand. Trust, trust me, it is. I've got no reason to lie or try to deceive or... <laughs> and I appreciate you guys also. Uh, not going on with the uh, scoffers, not even commenting to their... Because, you know, it's dangerous when you deal with them, too, because when you start going back and forth with them, you could get attacks, too, from them. Because remember now, it's not them personally, but what's in them. Okay? There's a lot of evil in this world today, and it's just manifested even more. I mean, you guys can see it manifested in front of you. I, I see it everywhere I go. 
on a daily basis it's manifesting a lot larger than ever before and they don't see it but we do remember what it says Daniel's 12 10 okay they're gonna keep doing wickedly and they won't understand but the wise will understand okay and then one moment we'll be here, the next moment we'll be gone. The Lord will take us out of here. Okay, I've seen all this stuff. It's getting ready to happen. <laughs> I just can't tell you when, because I don't know. I know it's at hand. That's the only thing I can tell you. Any second. I think this month is a very good possibility. This month or next month, let me tell you something. There's a lot of people that are spies in this country. They'll probably take off and go back to their native land when this place gets ready to be nuked. There's gonna be a lot of foreigners that'll be leaving before it happens. They'll say they're going to visit families and stuff like that, but they're really... This place was set up for destruction, you guys. And many of them they worship the devil and they don't know it, you know, because they're, like it says, the wicked will continue to do wickedly and they won't understand. They're under strong delusions. You know, everybody's doing exactly. Remember, this is a spiritual battle, okay? Spiritual. You know, it's even like the wineries, man. I see these wineries everywhere. I'm gonna let this trucker in, man. Him in. It's kind of wet, hard to see. He's got their blinker on. I'll let him in. But, uh, yeah, you guys, just be ready to go. We don't have much time, man. Not much time at all. Okay? God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. And remember what I said, man. Uh, have faith in Jesus Christ. Believe. Faith is believing. It's very powerful, okay? But only in Him, through Him, okay? You'd be surprised the powers that you have. You really would. But you got to have faith to believe, Jesus. That goes a long way. The devil don't want you to know that. But you can be sure of it. It's like that mustard seed. And once it takes hold, man, it starts growing and growing and growing. Once it starts growing, man, it's like it's a beautiful thing. I have faith. I see things manifesting around me. I even notice it when I go places, how people look at me and how they, uh, they, they don't say nothing against me. They don't speak. When they're in front of me, they don't say nothing to me. Nothing. Nothing. It's because they know the spirit that dwells within me is there. And they don't want to mess with it. And remember, you too are a vessel for the Holy Spirit. The thing is, you gotta get your faith, your believing, and all that stuff. But it's important that you feed your spirit. You know, we gotta feed the flesh, but we have to feed the spirit just as well. With the, uh, with faith. That's like food, I promise you it is. Then once you see it working, wow. That's like protein. That's like really getting the food once you see it happening. Yeah, I mean, I was like, I'm still wow with what I've been seeing, you guys. The Lord has put so much in me. It's a beautiful thing, man. And, and, and what it does to the faith is just unbelievable power that comes with it. God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you, man. We're getting close, man. We're getting very close. I can feel it. It's like an excitement, you know? God bless you.